When winter lasts 7 months and summer lasts only 3 months, Yakut's people feel overexcited about the arrival of summer. Every year, during the summer solstice, Yakut's people are celebrating a Hoch festival, the rebirth of nature after the long freeze, which symbolizes another start to the year. During the Ehoch festival, locals are wearing their finest traditional outfits. Classic women's Ehoch attire consists of an elegant dress called Haladai, with embroidered vest, bag and leather boots with Yakutian traditional patterns. Furthermore, no woman's Ehoch outfit is complete without traditional earrings, which feature Yakutian ornamental motifs like flowers and birds. Most women will also adorn themselves with a headdress called Bastinga and a necklace-like chest adornment known as Elin Kebiher, which is also work as a talisman. It's made of pure silver, it's very expensive and extremely heavy, some of them are weighed about 17 kilograms. On top of that, both women and men are carrying their beer, which is also horse tail used to swat mosquitoes and evil spirits. The festivities commence with the opening ceremony where a shaman asking for a blessing from the spirits. <laughs> After the colossal opening ceremony, everyone joined the ceremonial dance with thousands of people gathering in a large circle, dancing in bouncing motions and moving in the direction of the sun known as Ahohai. The most spectacular and long-awaited part of the festival is a national multi-sport competition called the Games of Dagin. The Dagin Games attract the strongest, most dexterous and fastest sportsmen from across the whole region, and the winner of the Dagin Games will get $20,000. Participants take on seven strongman challenges to compete for the honor of being named the winner of the Dagin Games. One of the competition is the stick wrestling. Whoever pulls the other opponent over the board and lifts him from the his seated positions wins. Another competition is a Gutian version of wrestling called Hapsagai. The objective of Hapsagai is to make the opponent touch the ground with the any part of his body above the knee. The final contest is the boulder carrying. The boulder weighs 115 kilograms, and whoever travels the longest distance while carrying the stones wins.
digging games are extremely popular in Yakutia and the winners are revered as national heroes and thought of as examples for young people to emulate. Activities continue throughout the night. It never becomes completely dark during summers in Yakutia. Around 2 in the morning, when twilight fades and glowing red streaks begin to spread across the sky, locals are gathering together for the most important part of the festival – the greeting of the sun. Вера, мне кажется, универсальная для всех народов. Она объединяет многие культуры, ну, многих стран вообще абсолютно. Потому что Солнце это единственное наше светило, огромное на всю планету. Locals raise their arms, their palms facing the rising sun to soak up the solar energy, re-energize themselves for the approaching nine months of winter, and showing such appreciation for things taken for granted in so much of the world – warmth, summer, and the sun. <laughs>